want to take this opportunity to um, show you a little bit about how I approach lighting an interior space. And uh, uh, I'm going to try this uh, through the use of a screen capture taken uh, from with inside Photoshop. And I don't want to bore you with a lot of details, but I do want you to, uh, to understand a little bit about what I do uh, to get uh, interiors to look the way they look when I shoot them. Because I think sometimes um, uh, the, if I don't show someone a before and after, they're, they're liable to think I just keep happening onto these really beautifully lit spaces. And though they are beautifully lit to the eye oftentimes, they're not necessarily beautifully lit to the camera. So uh, I want to look at an a, uh, interior photograph, an interior that I took uh, just oh, a couple weeks ago in uh, Franklin, Tennessee. And it is the uh, Franklin Theater that was recently renovated uh, by Hastings Architects. And uh, here is, this isn't exactly the final shot I'm going to show you, uh, but this is very close to what the final image was. I did a little cropping on this. We cleaned up some of these reflections uh, here and there and uh, got rid of these sprinkler heads. And I'll show you the final image a bit later, but this is very, very close to the final lighted uh, product uh, that I produced. But now what I want to do is I'm going to remove all of my lights. Okay, now watch this. We're dimming them all back. So there we go. That was what the space looked like. Uh, as I walked into it, after we had uh, worked the lights a little bit on, on the curtains here, uh, you can see that there's some issues. Um, there's no detail here in this fabric. The, the ceiling reads okay, but you know, it really needs to look a little better than that. It just doesn't really have the, the sparkle that it could. Um, these corners up in here are going completely dark. You can't see anything that's going on here with these doors and the backs of the chairs. There's just a lot of things that can be done. So now one by one, let's, uh, let's just kind of turn the lights on one at a time. So let's start with, the, uh, with uh, uh, bringing up the light levels a little bit on the curtains. A little bit of light to the upper left uh, of the stage, showing some of the detail in the wood. A little bit more Let's uh, add a little bit of light to the chairs. There's more light up, t up top on the stage. Little light on the uh, doorway to the right of the stage. A little bit to the left. A little bit more to the left. A little bit up uh, showing some of the detail. And I really wanted to, I wanted these speakers to show too because th there was a state of the art sound system that uh, went into this building and uh, I did not want that to get lost so let's just keep adding light now that's an interesting one there because uh, the lights that were lighting these curtains were also uh, illuminating this front edge up here in the ceiling and I did not want that I wanted all three of these to read uh, the same so we did an exposure where those uh, curtain lights were off and I dropped that in so let's keep going. Again, some of these, I used a technique where I may add them twice to, to uh, heighten the effect just a little bit. But you can see as these lights come on, just what's beginning to take place. Now we're starting to light this strip of fabric that leads down the left side of the auditorium. I had to do that in pieces. A little light at the front of the stage, a little bit of light in the chairs, a little bit more at the front of the stage, chairs, a little bit more on the seating, a little bit more on the seating, some light there in that uh, aisle, a little bit more light in the aisle, and still a little bit more light in the aisle. So there you have it. We've got uh, 
the addition of 34 lights in this shot um, all added through the use of uh, separate exposures and separate layers. If you uh, want to see what it looks like uh, again with everything off, there it is. Everything on, there you go. So uh, now let's take a look at what the, what the absolute final image looked like. And here is the final cropped version um, that has been finalized. You can see the stuff been removed off the ceiling, exit signs gone, and uh, the lighting uh, that was reflecting over here on this uh, detail at the top of the stage has been cleaned up. And I've also added a few highlights uh, that, that accentuate some of the uh, Art Deco uh, design that went into this space. Now what is probably uh, one of the most interesting things about the way I, I, I produced this image, um, I actually used a minimum of gear to do this. Uh, as a matter of fact, had I known that, uh, you know, what this space was and what it was going to take, uh, I could have actually carried on everything uh, used in this shot as, uh, as personal effects on an airline flight. So what I've learned to do over uh, 29 years of shooting architecture is how to make extremely efficient and, and smart use of gear, uh, combining uh, that gear with uh, digital techniques and uh, old school, if you will, lighting uh, discipline that, that is used to really bring an image to life. Hey, thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you are looking for an architectural photographer, please call me, Jim Roof at Jim Roof Creative, 770-476-8553. Let me put my skills to work for you.